Um, so basically, when I speak about those things, it's like when someone says something about Islam, I'm like, okay, the first question you need to ask is, where is this in Islam? What is the ruling on it in Islam? So Islamic reform. You cannot make laws because Allah is the only lawmaker. So therefore, you can't reform Islam. There's therefore Muslims. That's why a lot of Muslims I know don't vote because it's against Islam because you're voting for someone. So you're pushing that person on that higher pinnacle. It's why many Muslims I know do not support Saudi because Saudi call themselves kings and only Allah can be king. So that just kind of tells all you right, extremists. All right. so, a lot of Muslim, a lot of the Islamic reformists have realized mm -hmm. how shitty their arguments were. So they're coming up with a new tactic, right? So before they were saying, let's read the Quran differently. And we were like, yeah, fuck, that's stupid. And now they're coming up with this new method, all right? And like, why can't we just pick some parts of, like, why can't we have Islam where we ignore, like, some verses, cherry are, yeah, cherry pick. Like some verses we don't just be like, okay, this is not part of Islam anymore. But the rest of the Quran, for example, is part of Islam. How would you, okay. what do you say to that? So whose responsibility is it going to choose what stays in the Quran and what goes out of the Quran? Who's going to go around and delete every copy of the Quran off the internet and off the face of the earth? Why not just have our Fahrenheit 451 right now? Let's just go and destroy all of these books. Who's going to make it? Who determines this? Who are we going to pick? Yeah. Muslims can't even fucking agree on anything. So who, how are we supposed to pick what stays in the Quran and what goes? Right. Well, are we going to cut verses? Are we going to cut an ayat in half because we don't like that bit? Like, what are we going to do? Like, this doesn't make sense. I mean, granted, the Quran doesn't make sense anyway. Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim majority countries, advocating for atheists, secularists, and enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.